Now we're ready to paint these ears. First what we need to do is we need to clean them off. Remember they have some mold release on them and clay. So I just take some, uh, this is uh, alcohol. It's actually 99% isopropyl. This is what I, I use. I got it from a pharmacy. There's not very many that carry them. You may have to purchase it online. But it says 99%, not less than 99% right there. So, scrub these ears down. Clean them off really well with your alcohol. You want to get all that off. All the residue from everything we've done. You can dab them. Get them cleaned off. What I'm using is the Skin Illustrator paints. These are alcohol based paints. You use a little bit of that isopropyl 99 proof and you use it to mix. This is what we use for silicone. It's a very good skin type of paint. Now to do the ears, what I like to do is I like to add a little bit of redness to the edges. You can use a what I'm using here is, I kind of do it on my skin, see what I like the best. And you're going to do it as a wash. So you're going to paint it on as a wash. Just enough to highlight that ear. And what I like about these paints is that if you don't like what you did, you can actually take a paper towel, wipe it off a little bit. See, that just kind of makes the ear look a little bit more like it has blood going through it. And I'm using aged blood. I don't know why. I just thought it was a good color. So, you know, do the back. And I'm doing it as a wash, like I said. And I go almost to the feathered edge. I don't touch the feathered edge because I don't want to ruin that. You can actually even add a little bit of darkness. to the underside you want, which kind of gives it a little bit of depth. You don't like that much, like I just did, I took some alcohol and kind of wiped it away a little bit. And before I go any further, I actually like to do blood vessels. So I'm going to take this blue up here, this is called Vein Tone, this blue up here, it's kind of a palish blue. but. It actually gives a nice veinish look to things. And just irregular, just very subtle. And why subtle is because you don't want to look like paint. You want to look actually like uh, it's got vascularness to it. Just a little tiny bit. Just enough to Just kind of irregular. If you think you put too much on, take your finger, dab it while it's still a little bit moist and it just takes it away. Just a little bit. There we go. Now those ears, you can actually finish right there if you want. They look really nice. It looks very nice. But I like to go a little further sometimes. I like to do a little bit of flesh tone splattering. Take a couple colors, sometimes darker, sometimes lighter, and you're just going to do some splatters on the ears. Take a little bit of color out, just a little bit of splatter. Here, I'll show you. Go like this. See that? That's what you can do on your ears. And not only one color, but I like to do a couple colors. I'm going to go a little darker. You can go lighter. You just kind of go with what your gut feeling is, what looks good on your ears. That just brings in some extra colors, makes it look actually more real. I mean, very close to my own skin. And it blunt tones down that red you just added to it. And I actually even will go a little further and add another color, maybe a little bit darker. Always test it before you do it on your, on your ears. 
also that took down the blood vessels, just brought them inside the ear a little bit more. See how pretty that looks? So these ears now are ready to apply. Here's our ear. Love the texture. Has a really nice look to it. Nice feathered edges. We're ready to apply. Skin Illustrator makes a clear gloss. I highly recommend Skin Illustrator for painting on silicone. It just looks beautiful. There are other alcohol based paints. Uh, that's basically what you really need. See how that makes it look a little fleshier now? A little bit of a gloss to it. Now we're going to put on an ear to show you how to do it. This is my left ear, one of them that we just painted. And we're going to mix the silicone first. What we do with the silicone is, I have an A and B syringe, and we're going to mix them, let it sit for about five minutes till it's almost going to start to gel, and then we're going to put it on my ear. The reason is, is that so it's not flopping around while we're trying to wait for it to set. So you want to wait about five minutes or so, so you don't you know, playing with it while it's trying to set. It'll, pretty, it'll start to set right then. So let's go ahead and start mixing. So what I do is I do equal parts. We're not going to weigh this. We're just going to squirt it in. And then I'm going to squirt the A in. Try and do equal parts. Just like that. And then mix them. And then we're going to let that sit for about five minutes. And then we'll come back to it. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean my ears with some alcohol. We want to get the oils off our ears. So, dab a little alcohol. Go ahead and clean your ear off really well. If you have pierced ears, it might sting, so just be real careful. If you don't put alcohol on your ears and clean them off, the oils will make the silicone slip off, you know, sooner. Now, it's been about three and a half minutes, almost four. We're going to take the silicone and we're going to coat the inside of the ear. Put it in there really good. It's starting to get thick. I can feel it. I can also see it getting thicker. And I run that silicone all the way to the edge of the ear. You want to make sure that flashing now gets silicone on it. And you want it in the back too. So make sure you got it all the way down to the edge of the ear. See, there's the front, here's the inside. Now, I'm going to put this on my ear. Go ahead and try and get it on your ear best you can. Tuck it in the back. Push down the flashing. Make sure it's in the back really good. Make sure the front flashing is down. It's starting, to, I can feel it gelling already just with my finger, it's a little tacky. Make sure you push it all down, like that. Make sure my, my ear is tucked in all the way. You kind of play with it, just keep playing with it. Make sure it's down. Looks really good. Look at the front of me. Back. That's an ear. My wife helped me with the edges because I just can't see them from my angle. And if you notice, they look really nice even though I haven't matched my ears to them yet.